Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. Um, so today I have got a box full of the new Lush Community Favourite Bath Bombs. Um, so basically, Lush have just brought out a range of bath bombs. They're limited editions, they're only available for a short time or until they sell out. Um, but they're all kind of favourite scents that people absolutely love. Um, so they're all scents that have been seen before in previous products. So there's um, kind of shower gel scents and soap scents and things like that. But they've been made into bath bombs. So they're kind of scents that we've never really seen in bath bombs before, which is really, really exciting. And I just can't wait to try them all. Okay, so first up is possibly one of my all-time favourite scents. So this one here is called Honey, I Wash the Kids. Um, it's a cult classic scent. People just absolutely adore it. I love it. It's one of my favourites. It's a really gorgeous kind of very sweet butterscotchy kind of caramel scent. It is lovely. It's really warming and I just absolutely adore it adore it, it's really really nice. This bath bomb's gorgeous, it's a lovely yellow colour and then has these bright orange dots up here which I do believe are kind of cocoa butter by the feel of them so it'll be quite a moisturising bath bomb. Um, honey, I wash the kids, the scent's predominantly a soap um, but we have seen it before in kind of um, shower gels and we've seen it in body sprays and things like that so it does get used quite a lot but never in a bath bomb so this is super exciting. So this one is called Tender is the Night. It looks like this, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of this lilac pink colour with white running through it. It looks so pretty and I think it's going to be gorgeous in the water. Scent wise, it's possibly not one of my favourite scents. It's kind of very floral. It's got vanilla, um, jasmine, ylang ylang in there. It's very pretty but I'm just not a huge floral kind of person. Um, it's quite musky as well. So this has been seen in a massage bar, uh, bar before and it's also been seen in a shower gel. Um, but yeah, so bath bomb version of Tender is the Night. This next bath bomb, I've actually never tried this scent before, which is crazy. Um, so this scent is the Olive Branch, which used to be a shower gel, but I never, never tried it and I so wish I have because this is gorgeous I absolutely adore this so this smells just very fresh and zesty a little bit citrusy it's really really nice and uplifting and this one's a beautiful kind of pale orange color like a peachy orange with the white again so really really pretty oh I could just smell it for ages it smells so good this next one is possibly my favourite. I'm so, so excited about this one. Um, so this one is called, like my pronunciation is going to be awful on this, it's called Melusine. I think that's how you say it. Basically, a Melusine, or however you say that, is kind of like a mermaid. So it's a European folklore of a water spirit, so a mermaid. But Oh my gosh, look at this buff bomb. It is a beautiful. So it's a gorgeous kind of green colour, but it's all different greens. It looks like scales, they're like mermaid scales, and it's got beautiful glitter on there. I just love this buff bomb so, so much. It's amazing. And what makes it better is its scent. Its scent is phenomenal. So this scent is the same as the Avocado Wash or Co-Wash, um, which is um, a shampoo that you can buy, but they bought out in the Lush Labs um, a shower gel version of it this year, which was amazing. It's possibly one of my kind of all-time favourite scents. It's just incredible. So if you get a chance, make sure you try this one out, and out of all of them, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this one comes into stores soon, because it's amazing. Now this one is also really, really exciting. This is the Golden Pear Bath Bomb. Now um, this Christmas and last Christmas, Lush brought out the Golden Pear Soap, which is amazing. It's literally the best soap that Lush have ever done. It is gorgeous. So if you get a chance, go buy one of those soaps. You won't regret it. It's amazing. But it's the most kind of beautiful pear scent like you never get pear scented products it's not kind of a thing that happens very much but it is the most amazing scent it's really fresh and fruity and just uplifting and you literally feel like you could eat it it just smells so good and um, I do believe like the soap that it's going to be quite moisturizing it's got the kind of same design it looks exactly the same as the soap it just smells it just smells so good it is Amazing, I literally can't put into words how incredible this bath bomb is. 
Now, this next bath bomb, I know so many people are going to be hyped over. This has got such a following, the scent. So this is the Comforter bath bomb. Uh, this has been a shower gel before. It's a very, very, very popular bubble bar. It's just one of those scents that people just adore. Now, it's not one of my all-time favourite scents. I do really like it, but it's not kind of the normal thing I go for. It is a very, very fruity black currenty scent. So if you love kind of berry scents, you are going to adore this. This bath bomb is so strong as well. The scent from it is just really, really strong. So it's going to be incredible in the water. I love this kind of like bobbly design. It's really cool. It's a bit like a weird cloud or a strange berry. I'm not really sure. And the colours are these beautiful kind of pinks and dark purples and whites. So it's going to be amazing in the water. I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. So again, this next one is very, very similar to the comforter in design. This is the Blackberry Bath Bomb, so they do look identical. And um, This used to be a bath bomb, if I'm not mistaken. Again, not one of my kind of scents that I would normally go for. It's got that kind of berry scent again, it's not really my thing. This one though is a lot more musky. I actually prefer it to the comforter, so it's a little bit more like understated, a little bit more musky. It's actually quite a pretty scent. So again, I'm looking forward to trying this one out. This one seems to be just one colour, but I'm intrigued to see what's going to be inside. So in the um, community favourites, there were a few bath bombs I haven't picked up. So they have brought out the So White and the Yognog bath bomb. Now these are really old Christmas scents. I've tried them before, which is why I've kind of not brought them because I'm trying not to buy too many things that I've had before. I'm trying to be good. Um, so So White is gorgeous. It's a very fresh, crisp apple scent. It used to be a shower gel. It's just a really, really nice bath bomb. And then Yognog is amazing. If you love the kind of caramelly, warm, kind of sweet scents, you will love that one. It's also um, got a lot of cocoa butter in there, so it is very, very, very moisturising. Uh, but Yognog has been a soap. It's come out um, in all different formats before. It's out this year in the scent in one of the bubble bars from the Christmas range, so it kind of pops up all over the place because it's a really, really popular scent. So that's the Yognog bath bomb. They've also got the Calavera, I think that's how you say it. Again, sorry for my pronunciations, they're always horrendous. This one is a really kind of sweet um, lime scent. I can only describe it as kind of lime pastels, that kind of sweetie lime scent, not like a fresh lime scent. I absolutely love it. Again, it's been out before in a shower gel scent. And they've also released marshmallow world now i'm gutted i didn't get my hands on that one it's available now online but when i placed my order it wasn't available and i was a bit torn whether to wait for it in case any of the other ones sold out so i just went for it and didn't buy it um but i do believe it's meant to be american cream scented so that is a very 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 gorgeous scent it's kind of a strawberries and cream scent it says it's got strawberries and vanilla in there, so I'm presuming that is what the scent's going to be. The American Cream scent is a conditioner in the regular line. If you've tried it before, you're probably going to love the Marshmallow World bath bomb. Right then, so the last bath bomb that I have got is one of my other favourite scents ever, and it is the Yuzu and Coco one. So it looks like this. It's just a kind of peachy colour, nothing too special about it. All of these bath bombs are quite large in size and very heavy, which is very, very impressive. Now this scent, oh, I, I just can't even describe it. It is gorgeous. It's meant to be kind of citrusy, but I don't really get that. I kind of get a weird coconut scent from it. I'm not sure. But it's just very creamy and yummy. Oh, it's amazing. Um, Yuzu and Coco used to be a shower gel, which is amazing. It's a bright yellow colour. Quite surprised this isn't yellow in a colour as well. You need to go try it if you can. This one is phenomenal. Okay, so that is all of the brand new Lush Community Favourite Bath Bombs. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to try these out. Make sure you keep a little eye on my blog, which is mylushstuff.com, where I will be doing reviews on all of these as I try them. And also over on my Instagram, I'll be posting loads of pictures of them as well, so make sure you check that one out. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed doing it. Um, I've not really done any videos on the Lush Labs kind of releases before. So if you'd like me to do any more, please let me know in the comments box below. And as always, if you have enjoyed, please give me a little thumbs up. It will mean the world. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But that's it for now. And um, I'll see you all next time.